Hi, my name is Ashraf. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to proceed with photographic drawing. First, open to AutoCAD software 2008. Once you open the software, then go to File and click on the New Sheet and choose OK and Open. And after that, go to format and choose layer. And now you're going to create different layer for different line. First layer for the object. You can choose the color and also the line type. Then create the second layer for the hidden line. And you can change the color to yellow color. Then go to the line weight. I'm sorry, go to line type and load and find the hidden line and click on the hidden line and click OK. After that, create another new layer for the dimension. You can choose the color. Let's say I want to choose the green color, click OK. Then go to line type and choose continuous for the dimension. And after that, create another new layer for the center line. And go to the line color and choose red color. And click OK. And go to the line type. And go to load. And choose the center line. And click OK. Click on the center line and click OK. Then after that, you're going to create another layer for the for the reference line, and you're going to choose the color, which is going to be a light blue color, and the line type going to be continuous, and click OK, and click OK. Now you're going to start with the drawing. For the drawing, go to command and choose rectangular. Enter and click anywhere on the on the canvas and bring the mouse upward and then choose the coordinate which is 120 and 30 and enter. You already got the rectangular. Now you're going to close it with the same with the circle. Okay, specify the starting point this is supposed to be the midpoint of the rectangular click on the rectangular and bring outward the mouse and then choose the radius which is 30 for the first circle and repeat the process again circle and click on the center of the line and bring outward the mouse and then choose dimension which is 24 I'm sorry, diameter 24 and then after that you're going to proceed with the top view this is supposed to be your front view ok, to proceed with the top view you're going to command and click L, enter and then turn on the auto or you can press the F8 on your keyboard to assist you auto will let you draw a perpendicular line 90 degree and go to the edge of the object and bring the line upward and click escape and go to the layer and then choose reference line and click on the line again and bring to the reference line repeat the process choose line and click on the other edges and bring upward press escape then you can repeat the process easily by click on the spacebar and click on the intersection and bring the upward then press escape then press the spacebar click on the intersection bring upward then press escape then click on the intersection bring upward press escape then press spacebar, click on the edges, bring upward and press escape now you're going to proceed with object line so choose the object layer 
and click anywhere you want after you choose line command and bring until the end of the other line then press escape now you're going to have the width of the object which is 60 so go to command choose offset enter then click then you have to choose the unit which is 60 enter then press on the line and bring upward then escape then minimize the drawing or zoom automatically to bring the line then you can see the line on the top here okay as you can see this reference line haven't touched the top line so now what you're supposed to do you have to exit or extend all this line until the top line so use the common extend enter and choose all the line and enter then press escape now we want to trim all the unwanted line choose the command trim enter enter once again to choose all the line and then choose this particular line and click automatically the line will come and we want to trim this part and this part and this part of the object and this part of the object and press escape this line you can remove manually by click on the line and delete okay as you can see now we already have two view which is the top view and also the front view now we want to proceed before that change all the line type into the object layer and then choose this particular line and put them into the hidden line because we cannot see this line from the top view to see the dotted line you must go to command and type LT scale and click enter and then choose the factor 10 enter now automatically you can see the dotted line which is used for the reference for the hidden line now to proceed with the side view we must have another reference line we go into projectile from the top view and also from the top view again go to layer choose reference line then choose the l command for line and then projectile all the lines as for the top view we're only going to have two intersection line and after that proceed with the front view repeat the process by click on escape to go out from the command then press the spacebar to repeat the command and bring outward all the line now we must find the intersection between the top line and also the the front view line now we must draw a 45 degree line from the edge of the object here to do so go to command press l then click on the edges and turn off the auto by clicking on the f8 you will have a flexible line then choose the length of the line by using 180 45 degree which is the polar coordinate and automatically we have a 45 degree line where the, where this line will intersect with the top view then repeat the line command enter choose auto to assist you and click on the edges and bring down and repeat the process again click on the intersection and bring down then press escape now you're going to remove the unwanted line by choose the trim command Alright, now you're going to remove manually this line by choose all the line and click delete and click this both line, choose this both line and click delete and choose this line and click delete. Now you're going to put all this line into object layer and choose this line and this line and put it into the hidden line layer. Now you can see this is the hidden line where you can see the circle inside the object. Now we want to draw another extra line for the 
center line choose layer choose line and click on the center of the circle bring the upward and then bring the downward and then repeat the same process again and then choose this line choose this line and choose this line and put it under the center line okay, so you can see they have a redundant line just now but we can remove that and repeat the same process okay choose that line and go to center line and after that set the layer to center line and choose help line and click and bring down now you're going to proceed with the dimension and click and bring the layer into dimension layer and then go to dimension and choose linear Okay. and modify the style if you cannot see the alphabet and also the arrow size and click ok and click set current and close and then repeat the process for the another top view and then repeat the dimension process for radius for the outer circle and repeat the process for the dimension and choose diameter for the inner circle and choose the dimension to decide the tick of the object and then choose the dimension linear As you can see, we didn't click directly on the edge of the object and zoom to find the edge of the object properly and bring upward. And as you can see, this is our final drawing. Thank you.